everyone, so today I thought I'd better do a autumn or fall, depending where you live in the world, tutorial. Um, and I haven't done a look with red lips in a really long time, so I'm thinking I'll go with dark lips or red lips or something. So I'm just thinking something semi dramatic that you could wear during the daytime if you're brave or nighttime, whatever you feel like. I'm just gonna get started. I'm just gonna tie back my hair as always so that I don't get makeup all through it. And then I'm going to take my Leo Ali Dollish Veal Vita BB Cream Makeup Base. And this one is slightly green toned. So what it's going to do is just even out my redness on my face that I have naturally. And you can see when you blend it in, it just kind of adapts to your skin tone so you don't actually end up looking green. Um, but you do still have like a little bit of a grey cast, so unless you're like quite pale or something you'll probably want to actually use foundation anyway which is what I was going to do anyway <laughs> the foundation I'm going to use today is the Laura Mercier um, silk cream foundation because when it's autumn or fall or whatever I usually go for quite a nice coverage um, semi matte this finish is really really nice it's one of those like very subtle luminous kind of ones and on my flat top brush I'm just going to buff it in and with this foundation you really want to like buff it otherwise it'll look kind of cakey because it is really thick. The reason I want flawless skin, I don't know about you guys but whenever I wear a bold lip I feel like my imperfections show through some more like I don't really know why I think it's just an illusion in my mind but whenever I'm doing a bold lip I just prefer to have flawless skin rather than having any discoloration or zits or freckles or whatever whatever throwing sh sh throwing shoe showing through <laughs> I know it looks a little bit pale for me but it's really not I think my body is just in the shadow a little bit um, and I'm going to bronze up so it will not be a problem I'm going to use my cover effects pressed powder and I can't remember what the color is because it completely like melted off when it got wet in my handbag long story I'm just going to buff this everywhere and now I'm going to use my e.l.f. brow kit and just fill in my brows. I'm going to make them quite defined. And then I'm going to take my Ico brow gel and I'm just going to run that through just to tint my hairs because my hairs are like really, really, really blonde. And also just hold the brows in place for the day. At first it looks a little bit wet and shiny, but after a couple minutes it just dries down to nothing. So now what I'm actually going to start by doing when I do a really really bold or different colour lip than I'm used to I will always start by just at least putting down the eyeline, not the eyeliner, the lip liner or put on the lipstick first just so I know like so I can kind of coordinate everything else around the lip because otherwise I'll go to put the lip colour on and the rest of the face isn't quite right. So today I'm going to go for a slightly darker red lip because I'm going to do a summery spring red lip tutorial as well which I'll do a brighter red. Um, so for a darker red I'm going to use this Chi Chi lip pencil and this is in the shade Moulin Rouge and it's just a dark automatic pencil. I suck at lighting my lips by the way so if I screw up, forgive me. If you think my lips are like really crooked, it's because they are literally crooked. Like one of my side, like this side is really round and then this side's really pointy. So I kind of have to try to even it up, but it usually still ends up looking really weird. So it's pretty crooked, but We'll, we'll live with it. It's alright. It's on. It's done. I am going to use a very old palette today. This is very dear to my heart and if you've been watching YouTube videos for years like I have, you will remember this and you probably already own it. It is, I don't even know if they sell this anymore but I hope so. This is the Maybelline New York Stylish Smokes Natural Smokes Quad and you can tell mine has had a lot of love and this was my life. At one point if you search this on my channel it will come up with all these old videos of me using it. I was obsessed. This was my life. So I thought it'd be fun just to use it again. So first of all, I'm just going to prime my eyelids. I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. And just put on a little bit of that on both eyes. And also a little wee bit underneath because we are going to be doing quite a smouldery look 
including shadows like all over. So just blend that in with your finger or a brush or whatever you're using. Now I am going to be using a powder concealer after I do my eye makeup. So if you are not, you might want to do your eyes before you conceal and powder just in case you get it everywhere. Um, yeah. Otherwise use like shadow guards or something. Now I'm going to take the highlight shade from this palette and I'm just going to use this on my brow bone. And then just to make my eyebrows look super perfect, I'm going to take my Matte Inner Room Eye Brightener by Chi Chi Eye Brightener. You can use this obviously on your inner room, but I'm going to use this right underneath my eyebrow. And this is just going to um, kind of lift up my eyebrow a little bit and make it look kind of stronger and more defined. I'm just going to rub a little bit on the inner corner. I don't want to use a shimmery color on the inner corner because I don't want the inner corner to be overly noticeable. And then I'm just going to use the crease color, like the warm tone brown here. And that one is just going to go kind of everywhere. Um, okay. Actually first I'm going to use an eyeliner as a base. This is optional but I just want to make sure I get really good color payoff. I'm going to use NYX, what's this called, Golden Bronze. And I'm just going to apply that on my lid across my lash line and then also underneath. And then I'm not even going to blend it out. I'm just going to go straight on top of it and buff that color in. And I'm not even going to take it up to the crease. I'm just going to put it there and then we're just going to use a blending brush to buff it out everywhere so it's really smoky. So you just want to keep buffing it out until it kind of goes all over the place and also do it underneath as well. I know at first it looks really crazy but as soon as you put on your liner and lashes it'll be good and it will look great. <laughs> if you don't think you can pull it off then by all means just kind of do it really neatly but I just wanted to do a smoky 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 look with this. Definitely give it a go at least once because I used to be scared of doing it but I actually quite like the way it comes out. Okay I've just decided I'm going to add one more colour. This is MAC Romp and I just want something slightly goldish. I'm just going to take it on my finger and push that into the center of my kind of eyeball. Okay, so that's just given me a bit more dimension. Now we are going to go in with a black eyeliner and I'm just going to apply that, you know, little waterline, lash line, etc, etc. And then put on plenty of down on the waterline just so that it kind of seeps through your lashes and blends in with the brown and makes it look really smoky. So you can see already it looks a bit better. And I am going to use some false eyelashes just to balance out everything. Um, I'm going to use some Invisiband ones just because I don't want, you know, a line because I don't have eyeliner on. So these lashes have an invisible lash band as you can see. And they are the Cherry Blossom number 110. I'm going to get some glue ready and I'm just going to do my face before I put on mascara just so I don't smudge mascara everywhere because I always do. Okay, so for my bronzer I'm just going to use a dark mineralized skin finish. This is in dark. <laughs> and my bronzer brush by EXO Beauty. And I'm just going to use that big brush just to buff it on because I want this in a larger area. And then I'll swap brushes to contour. And I nearly forgot I need to put on my Bare Minerals Well Rested before I put on mascara otherwise it will go everywhere. And I'm just going to buff that underneath. I don't know if you can see the difference so I just did that side and then that side has none so it's just a little bit brighter. And I am going to highlight, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Powder and this is an Emphasize. And then of course to finish off I'm going to take my NARS Laguna Bronzer and this NARS Flat Brush. I don't know what number this is. Oh, 21. And I'm just going to contour my cheeks.
And then I'm not going to actually put on any blush because I don't want to go OTT with eyes, lips, blush, everything. I just think it looks nicer with nothing, personally. And now for mascara, I'm using CoverGirl Lash Blast. And I'm just going to coat all my lashes and apply the falsies and then we'll finish the lips. And then we're done. So you can see like how this eye has just come together. That one still looks a bit weird. And I'm using clear lash glue so that it dries completely clear so I don't have a line there. Honestly, like if you want to use eyeliner, go for it. And I normally would, but I just didn't feel like doing it today. I don't know why. I'm going to take an eyelash curler. A lot of people are like, oh my god, don't curl your eyelashes after you've got mascara on. But I'm not actually like clamping down hard. What I'm using it for is just to bring those false eyelashes into my lash line even more. So like I'm literally barely curling. I'm literally just pulling them down and then they will just sit so much more comfortably and closer to my lash line. Okay, so the lashes are on. Looks like that. And now for the lips, um, take any colour you would like. I'm using red and I'm going for a dark red and I do have a really dark vampy like real dark red but I want to go like a shade lighter because I don't want it to be like like vampire <laughs> I want it to still be pretty so I'm using this kind of like bright dark red and this is called Boy Magnet by Cha, Cha I was gonna say Cha Cha by Chi Chi and I'm using an EXO Beauty lip brush just because otherwise I will literally get it everywhere I think this might be a matte colour as well, which is good because I wasn't going to put a gloss on it because I wanted it to look semi-matte um, for autumn, but in my spring one I'm going to do a really glossy red lip when I get around to doing it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. Um, that is my autumn red lip tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the glue is still drying a little bit, so I'm sorry about that, but for the most part this is what it looks like, and I promise my chest isn't how it looks on camera it's just because there's like a huge window and then I've got all my stuff in front of me so it's in a, in a shadow. There we go, it kind of looks better now after taking the mirror away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know everyone's always like, why do you never wear red lips? But honestly like in real life I just feel like an old lady or something. It's just me personally. Like some people hate wearing nudes, some people hate wearing plums, I hate wearing red. But I hope this did help some of you guys out that actually would love to wear this look um and i hope you all have a really good day if you did enjoy it please support me by giving me a thumbs up it helps so much it helps me get myself out there and i really appreciate it have an awesome day and i will talk to you the day after tomorrow bye hey everyone so today i hope you guys don't mind but i am doing a kind of tag video instead of like a full-on makeup tutorial it's kind of just you know some of my favorite beauty gurus of the moment except the difference is that these are all people I think are completely underrated like people that don't really have crap tons of subscribers 